Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Sadaf, a self-empowerment coach for women and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the power of journaling and how it can literally change your life and what are a few ways to start if you are not uh, used to journaling or if you are new to journaling and you want to add that into your habits and your daily routine. So uh, first of all, what is journaling actually? Journaling, I'm sure that you have heard of it. It is all about writing your thoughts down. It is all about putting on a piece of paper whatever is in your mind. And there are different ways of doing it. There are different ways people use it. And of course, there are different kinds of journals that exist like, you know, like like manifestation journals these days, which I have heard of recently and I find it such a nice idea. There are also other journals like gratitude journals. There can be goal uh, oriented journals to set your goals and to move towards them. So I have many different ones for different reasons like this, which is a thick one. Then I have this one that I use for my daily um, follow up of my activities. This one is for something else but it is very interesting and then I have this one which is called the 15 week transformation journal that I have created myself and I will be talking about it a little later in the video it is a very powerful method to actually um, achieve your goals to move forward to to challenge yourself but I will be talking about it a little later right now let me tell you how did I get started with journaling so a few years back i was going through a very dark phase of my life and it was a time when even finding that one thing to be happy for was almost impossible there was not one thing that i could look at and and be like oh god like you know and the entire day the entire time was extremely extremely difficult and that phase of my life lasted for years it was all related to my divorce which was going on and it was really difficult and heavy for me and um, in that time I came across this video by a girl who talked about gratitude and she was really talking about how beautifully your life changes in a, in a very positive way and how the things that you are grateful for start to expand in your life you know and that was a time in my life when I had like zero uh, I did not see any light at all and it was extremely difficult and then I started putting in place this practice of every single day in the evening just writing down and writing and doing that in writing because um, I have heard that it does not really work if you do it orally but in doing that in writing every single day adds power to what you are being grateful for so I started doing that every single day in writing in my journal I just uh, it was an old diary actually that I took and I just wrote down the date and the one thing in that day during that day that, that brought a smile to my face and I used to do it in the evening so that was in the beginning now, uh, now I do it every morning but at that time I used to do it in the evening before going to bed and then I just thought about that one thing that brought a smile to my face uh, during that day and sometimes I have to say that it was extremely hard to find even that one thing that was bringing making me happy or anything so it was very difficult but very soon after that it was impressive how quickly things started shifting and changing and by putting my focus on something positive every single night started to actually really expand that thing in my life and bring more happiness and more light and i was extremely grateful for that and I continued and continued and then I started adding different journal prompts to my daily routine because I was also working on myself a lot on my goals and especially in on becoming a better person on, on myself, personal development, my communication skills, my social skills, so many things actually I was in a very dark phase and I had to work on many different things. So I kept adding diff different journal prompts to my own diary and then I went digital and I started using Evernote to do my uh, daily journaling and I do that until now and I do this at the same time like I I am I wouldn't say obsessed but I really use it a maximum so that I can have what I need in the right time because I use it for different purposes I use journaling also to for doing a brain dump when I whenever I feel that I'm overwhelmed with things because I'm not used to opening up my feelings to 
people that much in general even if i do i make the effort but i have more of a tendency to um, starting to sort things out in some other way instead of going out and telling a friend about something that didn't go well and and all of that so um then i so that is one of the thing that i do then another thing that i do is to weekly go through my transformation journal and work on every single week look at the the priorities that i had set the previous week and how it went that week and how much progress have i made and then i have this daily one in which i do write my goals for every single day and honestly i'm working so on days that i'm working i do not really have any goals but on days that i have off i always have some kind of a goal goal related to my learning related to my own personal goals related to my business these are a few ways that i use journaling and this is how i came across journaling and if you are getting started now let's have a look at how you can make it an easier process for yourself a good one and something that you can take a benefit from a maximum so the thing about getting started with anything is that you have to put in place a practice a new habit and in order to do that you have to reduce the friction you have to make it easier for yourself just like i'm doing right now with my videos i'm not focusing on the quality but i'm just focusing on putting content out there because the first part for me is just to be able to face a camera and that's all i'm concentrating on right now so if you are getting started with journaling you have to just make sure that you do it at a time that suits you best when you feel like doing it and use the thing that suits you best as well like either you do it on the computer digitally or you do it on your um, on a physical copy or if you want to have an application i'm sure that exists too i have not used any but if you want to use an app to keep a follow up of your daily journaling you can do that too but make it easy on yourself the second thing is it is not easy to do it on an empty page if you have an empty page in front of you 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 will have all kinds of th thoughts coming to your mind and you won't don't be sure about what to write what not to write so this you can do if for example you have had a bad day and you are overwhelmed by your day and you have too much negative things that are coming to your mind take a piece of paper like take a paper and write down everything that comes to your mind and get it all out of your mind instead of you, you instead of going and talking about it or you know becoming yourself toxic or negative because of that don't keep it to yourself put it down on a paper and just get it all out so this is something in which you do not need any kind of a journal prompt or something just you write down everything that comes to your mind and you just get it out there and um, but if you are doing journaling proper journaling and you want to see a little bit of progress with that and you want to move forward and and maybe also like you have some goals that that you want to reach at the same time then always have some kind of journal prompts ready that you are going to answer so in the beginning i would suggest to have just three journal prompts like three questions that you are going to answer every single day keep the consistency alive every single day you just answer these three questions and these questions are there is no uh, perfect way of starting no good way of starting the best way is the one that suits you best in your situation so you can go through uh, the journal prompts downloadable that is on my website in the resources section and it is there for free you can download it and you can write down the three uh, journal prompts that speak to you most in that time so i think that i have journal prompts about different topics like self awareness and confidence and you will see and i'm sure that you are going to find the three that suit you best in your situation you write them down and every single day you answer these three questions for yourself and you will see how you are also progressing personally i never go back and i never look at the prompts that i like the answers that i wrote to my questions in the past because i am totally focused on the future right now and i don't really want to look back but if you want you can also see how much progress you are making by going back but you will feel the progress also personally on a personal level so uh, select the three best journal prompts like asking yourself what was the best thing about today and what did i do to cause it 
And you can also ask yourself, for example, to become more confident, you can ask yourself, what am I most proud of today? And always make sure to find an answer. There is no like, oh, today there was absolutely nothing that I'm proud of. There is always some kind of answer that you can find, you know, just going through the day. Sometimes it is it, it's such a brave thing. Sometimes simply just getting out of bed is such a brave thing. So always find something that you can write in, in your journal and uh, always answer the questions that you have selected for your, yourself. And then, of course, you can change those uh, journal prompts over time, like after a month, you can uh, adjust them to your new situation, the, situ the, the kind of person that you have become in this one month. You can change that and, and adjust that to the new person that you are. The third thing about journaling, if you are just getting started, is to select a time, a time when you feel best like doing it. When either is it in the morning that you feel most like starting your day by be becoming more aware of yourself or do you prefer doing that in the evening when you have had the entire day and you just want to now uh, be grateful for uh, what went well or you want to reflect on your day or you want to have like some kind of that moment. So um, yes, you can do, you can start this way. So these were a few ways that you can start journaling and you will find so many more tips on my Instagram channel where I share daily little prompts and uh, through like through reels and you will see I'm, I'm sure you are going to find something some kind of questions that you can use in your own personal development and your confidence building and your self-esteem building and lastly and of course one of the most important things also is to talk about the journal that can when you have a guided journal that really helps you follow through your entire journey it is one of the most beautiful things that you can have as well and i have found how much it has worked for myself and that is why i have created those um 15 week transformation journals because i know that whenever we set goals most of the time we set goals for an entire year and then after one month two months we start losing the the energy and we the motivation and then we say okay now stop i can't continue it anymore but through this journal only by writing down taking just 20 to 25 minutes every single week you can set your priorities you can keep a follow-up of them and then you can uh, you can see how you are changing throughout the process and it is very interesting because in the beginning you have an entire section dedicated to the kind of person that you want to become by the end of these 15 weeks and then every single week you are going to do a follow-up of that and in order to keep you on track you even have an entire page dedicated to writing down all of your motivation boosters the things that you are going to get back to if you ever feel like you are falling down or that you are <clears throat> not being able to um, continue with your with your goals and with the priorities that you had set for yourself so it is a very nice way of bringing you from point a to point b and becoming the kind of person that you want to become and the new you actually so that is awesome uh, you can go and check the journals on my website there are pictures and of course i have shared some videos with you as well and i hope that <clears throat> I have inspired you at least in some way to start journaling for yourself so that you can become and start becoming more and more the kind of um, more aware and more powerful person that you actually are and that you can find strength within yourself as well. So um, yeah, I hope that this video has been helpful for you and uh, I wish you all the very best and I will see you in my next video. Bye.